I'm going to show you the best Squarespace plugins. I have many and I have a few favorites that I think could make your Squarespace website even better. On this channel, I share practical advice to look good online. Consider subscribing for more of my videos just like this one and hit that bell to be notified when I post next. Now it's time for me to show you the best Squarespace plugins for your website. Today I'm in Tulum and I'm answering a question that comes from one of my email subscribers. They asked, what are the best plugins for Squarespace? Squarespace plugins are the way to my heart. They can really add a lot of life to a Squarespace website, even if the plugin is simple. Now, before we dive in, I wanna note that these plugins that I'm including in this video are paid. All of them are made by skilled developers that sell their work as they should. If you're looking for free plugins or tutorials, I've got a separate video all about that, free hacks for your Squarespace website, and I will link to that somewhere over here. Now I'm gonna grab my computer and we'll take a closer look at five amazing Squarespace plugins. First up for plugins, one that I absolutely love, particularly for bloggers, is the Squarespace Sidebar Plugins from SQSP Themes. This is one of my favorite destinations for Squarespace plugins, and this is certainly one of their best. Squarespace has a lot of great things about it, but one of the downsides, particularly with all of the um, layouts on 7.1, there is no built-in ability to have a sidebar, okay? And this is something that a lot of bloggers want with good reason uh, for their websites and particularly where people are consuming blog content, a sidebar is really useful to st have sticky content on the right or the left side and it's just not possible in Squarespace unless you use some code or you have a workaround. So this plugin by SQSP Themes will literally give you a sidebar and I'm gonna show you in a second how that works. I haven't got a sidebar on my own website, so I don't have that as, as an example to show you, but their demo site uh, on the page of this plugin where it's sold, which you can click in the description below, this gives a great example of how this could look on your website. So it's gonna take on some of the stylistic elements that you've already set on your website, but with some very simple code that they're gonna give you that you can paste into your site, you'll be able to have this awesome sidebar, which you can see here. Now moving right along to the next plugin that I wanna show you, my next favorite one is called Lazy Summaries. This one is $55. I should also mention the last plugin I talked about was around $50 for their standard license. Forgot to tell you that. This one, Lazy Summaries, I use on almost every website that I create. It is amazing, okay? And what this does is it creates an overlay on a summary block. In 7.1, summary blocks have replaced a lot of the image gallery types, right? And so the summary block becomes your best friend. But in my opinion, Squarespace is missing a lot of key features to make the summary block extra useful. So this is awesome because it gives us functionality like loading more than 30 items. Haven't we all wished that we could load more than 30 items? I certainly have on various websites. It also will give you some extra functionality and it's so cool because it overlays directly on the summary block. I'm gonna show you now uh, in detail. I've clicked over to my own website, which makes lots of use out of this Lazy Summaries plugin. Now I'm going to double click on a summary block on my website, and I'm going to point out what those additional features are that this plugin adds for you. So go ahead and click Layout. Normally in Squarespace, you have to define the width um, based on a pixel width, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. So what I love is here, using this functionality, we can use column numbers instead of column widths. So for example, you could set it different for desktop as well as mobile and even a separate setting for tablets. I don't use that in this instance, but how cool to have customization depending on the screen width for desktop, tablets, or uh, mobile devices, and I, and I make great use out of that. If we click over here to lazy, 
Um, this is where I mentioned just a second ago that you can load more than 30 items from a summary block or a gallery. Love it. You can also hide the load more button. And then here under additional, you can enable Lightbox. You can follow source URLs, click through URLs in a new window. Very helpful. And there's a few other things here, um, sorting items. You can randomize it. Very cool. Um, this plugin is awesome and I don't know how I would live without it. The next plugin that I want to share with you is one that I use on my own website as well. This is a mega menu. It is shocking to me that now, whatever year you're watching this, probably 2021, we still don't have mega menus integrated in Squarespace, and that's why we use a plugin for it. There are lots of plugins on this, but I love this one from Schwartz Edmiston design. Um, he also has a YouTube channel, which by the way, you should check out. I love this plugin. I know that it's on the pricier side, so it's $75. But when you think about how many people you have visiting your website and how much more you can show someone with a mega menu, I think that this plugin is totally worth it. And I'm going to show you how I've customized this on my own website. This is my own website where I've used this exact mega menu code. I did add a little bit extra to get this cool swirly effect of the arrows, which was complex. Don't recommend it. But look how great these mega menus use. Uh, look rather, look how great they look. I use two of them. So I show my courses, content mastery, email mastery, and Instagram mastery. And then under resources, I have my freebies, my podcast, and my blog. And I just feel like because these are more visual, people are more likely to go here and click. My next plugin is by a guy named Will Myers, and I had to scour the internet for this one, and I was so happy when I found this. It's called Split Screen Layout Design Pack, and only $10. What it allows you to do is put two content blocks, display them side by side, or for example, you could take three content blocks and display them side by side. There's all ways of customizing this plugin, and that's what I love about it. Um, you can use gallery sections, you can add borders and spacing, and it gives you really clear instructions on how to do it. I'm going to show you an example where I just use this to put three content blocks side by side. This is a client website built on 7.1. The brand is Leela. I've had a lot of fun with this one, but I had some struggle figuring out how to put content blocks uh, stacked or side by side. And I used this plugin right in this spot right here. Um, there's tutorials out there that will help you do this on a footer, and I've used that here. Um, but I couldn't figure out how to do it in the middle of a page. And so I used Will's uh, plugin for $10, amazing um, value, to be able to put three content blocks side by side, just like that. And the fifth and final plugin that I'm gonna share in this video is by Ghost Plugins. Now I couldn't even begin to tell you how many amazing plugins that they have, both free and paid. But in this example, I love this testimonial slider that they offer. Um, they have a few different styles on their site. This one is called Fibo, and it's $40, and I just love how it looks. If you're like me and you collect uh, LinkedIn recommendations or testimonials from clients, I feel like this is an amazing way that you can display those. They give you all different kinds of customizable options here from site title, color, shadows, backgrounds, autoplay on or off, the duration, items per row, you name it. Um, and I actually, I could show you a live demo because I just installed this on my own website. As I said, I just installed this on my website, so I haven't even styled it yet, but look how awesome this looks in action. So this is showing you the slider. Here I could put the profile photo and the text and the name and the title of each person that has left a testimonial. I'm definitely going to be incorporating this on my speaker page on my website. Love this one, as well as many others from Ghost Plugins, a destination you have to check out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial with my favorite Squarespace plugins. And if you have any other lingering questions, feel free to comment below. I keep an eye on those personally. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate a like and consider subscribing for more of my videos here on YouTube where I discuss branding, websites, and social media. Always practical advice to look good online. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching. Next, I'm linking you through to some videos that I think you might find helpful. Those are coming up next.